Are you looking for more bad public speaking advice? Well, you've come to the right place. I want to take a break from what we normally do here today and just catalog what I see as some of the top, top pieces of bad advice I see floating around all the time on the internet when it comes to bad public speaking advice. Some you've heard of that it's easy to laugh at. Visualize your audience naked. Well, depending on your audience, that's either too exciting or too disgusting. Don't ever visualize your audience naked. Narrow your bullet points down to three per slide. Horrible advice because you shouldn't be using bullet points. Your slides should have visuals, images, pictures. You shouldn't be using text. If you want to use text, put text on a piece of paper and glance down at it occasionally. Next up, courtesy of Ted, stand like Wonder Woman for two minutes. Idiotic advice. If you want to become a great speaker, what you should do is actually watch the video of the woman on Ted who talks about the Wonder Woman pose. Ignore everything she says, but how she speaks is classic, great public speaking. She uses stories, emotion, animation, narrow focus. She's a great public speaker. Nothing to do with the so-called Wonder Woman pose. Next we have this guy on the internet who says if you tap on your face long enough, you'll get a, just idiotic advice. Absolute stupidity. Don't waste time tapping yourself. Hypnosis is enough. Now, I am not anti-hypnosis in general. Hypnosis certainly helps some people get over smoking, drinking, uh, weight problems, but it's not going to make you a great speaker. It might help you overcome some fear, but your challenge as a speaker is not fear. Your challenge as a speaker is actually speaking so that people find you interesting, memorable, and take the actions you want. That's not going to work. Visualizing a standing ovation. What good is that if you're going to then stand up and give a boring speech and a boring presentation? All of these things are frankly excuses to keep you from doing what you should be. It's kind of like the healthcare industry and the diet weight loss industry. People know what they need to do to lose weight. You need to get up off your you know what. You need to move. You don't have to run marathons, but you at least need to walk and stop sitting back and watching TV all day long. You need to eat more fruit and vegetables and smaller portions and overall lower calories than what you're doing now if you're fat. You know that, but you can't sell a new book with that advice. You can't sell a new video on that advice. So what do we have? We have entire industries, billion dollar industries of buy this little green pill so that you don't have to eat lesser exercise. Buy this contraption that you'll never use after the first day so you don't have to eat less and eat healthier and exercise. It's kind of the same thing with public speaking. There are all these things to get us to avoid doing the one thing we should do, which is practicing our speeches on video and looking at it to see if it's interesting or not. So please be aware of all the bad advice out there. Also realize that as many bad doctors as there are out there giving bad medical advice on weight loss and these pills and these surgeries, you still have to be licensed to be a doctor. Nobody has to be licensed to be a presentation coach. Anyone can call themselves a public speaking coach. So you get an even higher percentage of bad ideas, bad tips, bad suggestions out there. I'm TJ Walker. I help people speak more effectively because how you present your ideas is the number one factor in your success. If you actually want to get better at speaking and not just waste time with tapping and drinking tea, then I urge you to check out some of my solutions. I have online public speaking courses with videos that get you to do what I'm talking about. I have public workshops every month in New York City where I get you on camera 10 times and we can do what I've been talking about here. And I have private trainings one-on-one -on -one and with groups, with individuals, corporations, governments all over the world where I get each person on camera a dozen times in a day. Give me a call if you're interested in the solution or check out the website.